Hey, what's up? So it was almost six months ago that I put out a first impressions on Sweets Cushion Clear video and it's been a while since then and I at the time said, oh, you know, in a little bit, I'll come out with an update on the Sweets Cushion Clear paint because it was something that like I never had before and then I would go on the internet and look up everything I could about Sweets Cushion Clear and I just couldn't find anything. So that's why I wanted to put that video together and that's why I also wanted to come out with an update sometime down the line after I broke it in a bit. Now that it's been six months, this is going to be that update. But of course, I am only one person with one Cushion Clear Dama, so after I tell you kind of my update, I'll give you my idea for a future video where I think I'll give you a much better, broader look at what Sweets Cushion Clear has to offer and what could be in store for you if you want to go ahead and buy this paint. Now with that, let's first start with what I have to offer. So first, the most important factor is how much time I've put into playing this Dama because Obviously some, some people might buy a Dama and play it for five minutes. Some people might play it every day until it's uh, absolutely sesh to hell. So me personally, I'd say, like I said, I've had it six months, but I've probably only put about an hour a week onto it max, which over the course of six months, yeah, times four per week is 24 hours of uh, total play on this Dama. And I can say over those 24 hours, based on my experience, that it has held up incredibly well. We can see that in the paint's durability itself in terms of like paint and chips. I know some of my other Damas with like sticky clear paint and things like that are uh, susceptible to chips. And I know this is susceptible to chips as well, but as for the way it is right now, you can see there are some big dings, but the Sweets Cushion Clear has, you know, not broken through the surface to the wood or like the white coating underneath. And the durability of the paint I can vouch for so far, it has held up incredibly well. The second thing I can offer you based on my experience is the issue that a lot of people bring up regarding hand oil and like handling the Tama so much that it kind of changes the way the coating feels or the paint feels against the uh, Ken. And I can give you a quick sound update too because I know I did this in the first one. So you can see still uh, a lot of tack. But on that topic of hand oils, a lot of people say, especially with the sticky paint, and I can agree with this, the sweet sticky paint, I find if you, like uh, I was doing that J stick challenge uh, a while ago and I was using a sticky paint, and after a while with the hand oils, it definitely did get a lot slicker. Now, again, I haven't run this through like a super long 20 hour in a row session or whatever, but I don't find that the hand oils have as much of an effect on the cushion clear. In my personal opinion, every time I grab this and session it, it feels about the same. Whether it's, you know, five minutes into the session or 20 minutes into the session or two hours into the session, it feels about the same as my hand sweats on it and I break it in and so on and so forth. Within the session, it, it keeps consistent, I think. The same for me personally goes day by day. You know, if I pick this up tomorrow versus if I pick this up a week from now, it's going to feel about the same. I know that a lot of people mention things like humidity and temperature and all that like totally changes the way the paint feels. And like I said, in a future video, I really want to go through all the experiences that many people have had. But for me personally, it feels about the same all the time and it holds up well. And I know what to expect when I pick up this Dama. And that is super, super grippiness still. It grabs the lunars, inward lunars incredibly well, as you can see. But for me personally, the lighthouses are still too difficult on the cushion clear. This kind of leads into my next point I can make, which is the improvements I've seen with the paint as I've played it a bit. It definitely has softened up a bit. And I would say as opposed to getting better in like a downward slope, like, you know, because it, you know, my if you didn't see my first opinion, it was just that this was way too sticky. Uh, of course, it made lunars and stuff super easy, but trying to just manage like lighthouses and things like that was just impossible when this was fresh out of the box. I would say after the first like hour session, it kind of softened up, and then ever since then, it's been linear. So the paint did improve, uh, in my opinion, from the way it came out of the box. Out of the box was way too sticky. Now it's a little more manageable, still kind of difficult for the lighthouses and the lighthouse flips, but definitely softened a bit. And now it's staying pretty consistent. 
Now that is my take and my experience, but I, I don't think that is enough to be honest because even me now, I thought you would think, you know, oh, you buy a sweet cushion clear Dama and you would know all about cushion clear, but that is just not the case even with me now. I see comments and people explaining that temperature and how long you play it and it goes to super slippery, back to sticky, to tacky, and just me personally, I don't even know within the next years if I'll play this Dama enough to see all those things come to light. So I started kind of brainstorming, you know, what could I do? Because I want to bring you a good explanation and feel for what this Dama is like, because Cushion Clear is an expensive paint to buy and you shouldn't have to buy it and try it yourself to, you know, at least get an idea of what it's like. Obviously, if you want to know exactly what your personal experience will be like and you want to try it, buy it. But I definitely was looking for a way to find all the information I could about it and I just couldn't. So my plan from here, you can hold me to this one as well, is I think I'm going to reach out to some people around the community, just some people I can trust within, you know, the, the Instagram Dama community and things like that. Some people that I know I can get some honest feedback from and I'm just going to ask them, like, what's your experience? with Cushion Clear as well in the comments of this video. The comments of the last video, you can get some great advice. Like if you're someone looking, what is Sweets Cushion Clear really gonna be like for me? Go read the comments on the last video and you read the comments on this video because I'm asking anybody that has experience with the paint, drop a comment on this. This is getting really confusing, <laughs> but uh, drop your experiences in this comment section so people can come and see it and try to get their own grasp for what it's going to be like because I'm realizing that I can only say so much based on my experience because it's going to be so much different than yours. I kind of got a little off track there. But uh, with all the feedback I can grab from around the community, I'll compile it together and create kind of a the community's thoughts on Sweets Cushion Clear. And that should be kind of the end of the saga and give you all the information that I can put together. With that all said, I guess look out for that video, hopefully not six months away, hopefully a little sooner than that. Uh, I'll promise you that, sooner than six months, but uh, I'll keep stashing this. Give it a try if you have the opportunity because it is incredibly unique, incredibly enjoyable. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you checking this out. Stay tuned if you want to see more Dama stuff in your feed. <laughs> and uh, yeah, have a wonderful, 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 wonderful day. <laughs> Peace.